Queensland school students are making a simple but potentially life-changing difference in the lives of their peers around the world. They're building solar-powered lamps to improve the health and education of kids in developing countries. And as Casey Briggs discovered, the benefits aren't all one way. It's a light bulb moment. Whoa. Whoa. For these bright sparks at Amberley State School, west of Brisbane. Part of a project to build solar powered lights for students in developing countries who do their homework by kerosene lamp. The use of kerosene can be dangerous, so replacing that with a sustainable light source um, that is healthy and green uh, is, is very powerful. For the kids, this is not just an ordinary science lesson. And the battery uses the solar energy and it travels through the wire to light up the bulb. They're making connections across the curriculum and the globe. It's helped their understanding of how others live in the world and what this initiative could do for others. They don't have any phones, fridges, um, TVs. They don't have as much money as we do here and they have to use kerosene lights. That's like horrible. We're trying to give the kids in Australia an experience that they can reference later in life that I, I know I can make a difference. They also write messages to the children on the other end. Always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. 2,000 kilometres from Brisbane, partner organisations including the Kokoda Track Foundation distribute the lights. Only 12% of Papua New Guineans are connected to the electricity grid, mostly in major cities. For the children in the village of Tainabuna, a little light can have big results. Children will be able to uh, access water after dark safely, be able to go to the toilet safely. We took this one particular problem, we isolated it and we found a solution. For the teachers in Australia, it's win-win. Um, so we want kids to be excited to come to school, excited to learn, to be asking questions. Yeah, it was fun, it was challenging. It was sort of tricky putting it together, but also fun. The program's being rolled out to schools across Queensland through a partnership with Scripture Union Chaplains. So our plan is to be nationwide by this time next year. Basically, we want to give every child in Australia the opportunity to participate. And a piece of technology that can run purely off the sun, um, it's, a, it's a magnificent first step into the world of technology. Empowering kids to help kids. Casey Briggs, ABC News.